Hi, and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll scratch the surface and explain the basic functions of the Mighty Kong Drum Designer. The Kong Drum Designer is a semi-modular drum sound device with immense possibilities for sculpting your drum and beat sounds. Kong has 16 pads and 16 drum sound channels. By default, each pad is assigned to control one drum sound channel each. If you click on a pad, the corresponding drum sound channel is triggered and selected. The higher up on the pad you click, the higher the velocity value. Down to the left is the drum control panel. Here, you can load and save your individual drum patches and also initialize sampling. You can also adjust some basic parameters for the selected drum channel, like pitch and decay offsets, effects and parameters, and pan, tone, and level. If we unfold the drum and effects section, we can see what drum and effects modules are used for the selected drum channel. Here we have a physical model of a kick drum, routed to a parametric EQ and an overdrive resonator effects in series. To the right, we have a bus effects and a master effects that can be used by all 16 drum channels. If I turn the bus effects send knob on the drum control panel, I can control the send level from the selected drum channel to the bus effects. By clicking on these selection buttons, you can easily replace the drum and effects modules with other modules to create a new sound. There are 9 different drum modules and 11 different effects modules to choose from. If you select another pad, the corresponding drum sound channel is selected and the drum and effects modules for that channel are shown. As you can see, the bus effects and master effects are the same, since they're global for all 16 drum channels. A very nice feature in Kong is the quick edit mode. Next to each section on the main panel are these little square Q buttons. If you click one of these, the pad section switches to show parameter values for each drum sound channel. The parameter names and edit axis are shown here on the red frame. You can then edit the parameters by clicking and dragging on the pads, like this. To the right on the main panel is the Pad Settings section. Here, in the Drum Assignment area, you can assign the pads to desired drum channels any way you'd like. If you click the Quick Edit button, each pad shows the current drum sound channel assignment. You can easily change the assignment by clicking on another drum channel number on each of the pads. You can also assign pads to pad groups. There are nine pad groups divided into three mute groups, three link groups, and three alternate groups. If I assign two or more pads to the same mute group, playing any pad will automatically mute any sound played by the other pads in that group. This is perfect for playing open and closed hi-hats, for example. Pads assigned to the same link group will play together when you play any of the pads in that group. Pads assigned to the same alt group will play alternating when you play a pad in that group. It's also possible to assign the same pad to several pad groups if you like. So, that was a brief introduction to the Mighty Kong Drum Designer.